Hola, gringos y gringos. Welcome to Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. I'm Mark. I'm Gina. This week, we're going to give you our first impressions of Progresso, coming up right after this. And welcome back. So as Mark indicated, this is all about our first impressions of Progresso. Sleepy Beach Town. It's a beach town. I mean, it's, you know, it's funny that that characteristic carries through whether you're in the United States or in Mexico. It's a beach town. Yeah. I mean, and it's very laid back. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, 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 there are a lot of things to really like about Progresso. You know, the streets are wide. It's very easy to navigate because it's laid out on a grid. So if you get an address, you're like, Okay, I've gotten a good idea as to how to get there. I mean, there's not a congestion of traffic. No. Nope. Although, we are here right before snowbird season. We'll be here during snowbird season. So, True. You know, so that may change. We'll, we'll be able, when we do the wrap-up, to tell everybody, okay, from when we first got here to when we left, mm -hmm. we saw this much of an increase. Um, so far... Uh, just like everywhere else we go, people have been extremely friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, shopping options here, I'm going to say the shopping options are really rather limited when it comes to groceries and things. I mean... You have two options, the yeah. Super Aki or the Soriano. And both of them are, they're not real big ones. Oh, look how cute. We got a snack size bag of chips next to a snack size bag of itty bitty baby toilet paper. They don't have a lot of expansive items that you think you would find because of the influx of tourism and, and people from out of the country coming here, but they do have the necessities. You're not going to go hungry. No. You know, no. I mean, it, it's, yeah, they've got the beer, they've <laughs> got the alcohol, they've got the necessities, the meats, the veggies, the... I mean, I mean, just for an example, I drink coffee, and so I'm looking for the little coffee creamers, the liquid coffee creamers. Every place we've been has had them, except here. Mm -hmm. So I had to buy the powdered. Yeah, it's all right. I made do. Yeah, I mean, um, realistically, you know, restaurant-wise, we have been now into three restaurants. El Toro. And we are heading into El Toro. Mark just tried to order alcoholic beverages three ways from Sundays and got shot down. <laughs> oh, gracias. gracias. He's got no orange juice, no, no tonic. tonic. Guess you're getting coca. <laughs> That's one. M Mubla, Mubla. We were in Mubla when we came up to visit one day. Mm -hmm. Is it Mabula? Mabula. It, it's really very good, by the way. And <laughs> the Chinese restaurant twice. Yes. Oh, and the chicken place on the corner. Oh, that's right. So four. Yes. Uh, Chen Poyo. Yes. Yes, and the, chi and the Chinese place, 
uh, Win Chen. Is that what it is? Win Chang. Win Chang. Really good Chinese. Yeah. To be fair, the best Chinese we've had in Mexico so far. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. Um, but although I noticed something that I don't really quite like. They, they sh and every place has been like this. They show all these images of all the different types of food you can get in there. And then you get in there and you're served from a buffet line and it's whatever's in the buffet. Yep. I haven't figured out. I swear to God, I saw dumplings on a picture outside. Nowhere on the menu does anything say dumplings, but, but it was really good. The that lo mein is the bomb. The convenience of Win Chang is that if you go to the Super Aki, it literally is right next door. So it's real convenient just to go, yeah, let's just walk right in here. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend 250 pesos and we're going to get four meals out of it because they load your plate up oh, yeah. so heavily. Oh, yeah. I easily turned that into three different meals. Yeah, I got two out of it. So, sure. Um, uh, we also have uh, taken our clothes to the lavanderia already yep, once. Yep, Splash Lavanderia. They were very, I mean, they said come tomorrow after 10. They were ready. Not a problem. Folded nicely. I uh, didn't get an, uh, an idea as far as what the weight that we dropped off, but it was basically 10 days worth of laundry. Cost us 160 pesos. And what you got, Mark? This is how you get your clothes back from the lavanderia. Lavanderia. And that is about, mm, it was almost $9? Yeah, it was 160 pesos. Gave a 20 peso tip. They're so nice having it all done in less than 24 hours. Smell good already. I can smell them from here. Smell better than they did when we took them in. That's true. True. Now, I thought they had a delivery service too. They do. Um, but, you know, I wasn't going into that. We were trying to get back home for whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so maybe next week when we drop off, I'll ask them, if, you know, if it's a 10, 10, 20 pesos extra for them to come. Yeah, you bring it. So. Right. Um, and so in, in, in addition to that, so we have a really great Airbnb, which mm -hmm. you will see the video up in the corner. There's a link to the video on the Airbnb. Uh, we are a block and a half. He's looking for that link. Oh, honey. <laughs> we are a block and a half from the beach. Mm hmm uh, I like that because... Two, two blocks from the end of the Malacom. Yeah, I mean, I like that because we weren't really looking for beachfront property because we're not really beach people. Um, and it's just a lot of sand. It's a lot I of mean, sand, it, and it costs more because yeah. everybody wants to be beachfront, but we didn't need that. I like where we are. We have walked the Malacom. It yes. is, is extremely nice. It's fairly new. It's, it's very modern. Yes. Um, we have not yet... Clean. The Malacone yes. was oh, clean. Oh, the Malacone was extremely clean. The Malacone's clean. very clean. We have not yet done the Malacone when a cruise ship was in port. Uh, well, kind of, sort of. I snuck down, but then again, at the time I went down, in theory, those people should have been making their way back to their ship by then. Yeah, the majority, I mean, because when we've done cruises, we've always been at least an hour yeah. before the anticipated leave time, if possible, to make sure that we're not one of those that, you know, yeah, we're waiting on two. Well, they don't want it to be these two. So yeah. um, next Wednesday, we'll have a better opportunity to stroll down there during that and see what's all. They set up an outdoor market. Um, mm -hmm. The two times, once during the day, once at night that we've walked the Malacan, there's a fair number, especially during the day, of the people that are out doing the hawking of the wares and wanting you to come into their restaurant and everything else. But I will say it was a lot less aggressive than La Quinta in PDC. Oh, in Playa. PDC. Playa, yeah. um, PDC was pretty rough when it came to that street. Okay, rough for somebody like me who feels bad continually saying no to people, you know. I say it the first couple of times and I, I go, know. you know what, know. if they're going to continue to hammer at me, I'm going to continue to just go, nope. No. Yeah, okay. So uh, I noticed because the cruise ships tend to be on Wednesdays, they still get a lot of business on the Malacone. There's a mm -hmm. lot of open air restaurants. Uh, some of them are really pretty snazzy. Yep. 
A little dressed up. A couple of bars that mm -hmm. have got some things, a couple mm -hmm. of uh, places to get some helado. And um, I'm sure that there's going to be, you know, plenty of places to get trinkets and <laughs> beachwear and, and souvenirs and things like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we did notice. Now, I, don't, I have to look up and find out what the hours are for the Mercado. They have a municipal Mercado. It's not too far from the Super Aqui. I wanted to go get some honey. Quanto cuesta, senora? 55. You got? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Anything else you need? Nah. Fortunately, there was a woman in there who was still open and she had the honey. But everybody else was closed. Yeah, that, we got there about, about three o'clock in, in the afternoon, and because and, and we, well, we had to go down and then do this and do that, and by the time we got there, because mm -hmm. we actually did it after we got done um, doing our I and M appointment. So that's right. That's um, right. Yeah, it was about three three fifteen. We got there, and the overwhelming majority of the tiendas uh, were cerrado. You know, I mean, they, it's were, just... they were closed. About the only things that were open for the most part were lunch places, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And even that was hit and miss. I mean, you walk down that center area where most of them were, and it was still probably 70% closed, 30% open, because I think that's mm -hmm. pretty much an early morning to after lunch and after lunch. I think well, maybe I need to walk down there when they're open. I think it's only a 15 minute walk. Yeah. From here. I'd like to just peruse a little bit and see what they have. Of course, I got to do some Christmas shopping for Chloe, our granddaughter. So hoping to find some cool things there. Since you mentioned it, the INM office here in Progreso is very different than the one in Carretero or the one in Merida. This literally looks like a cement shoebox. It's a simple little building. It looks like yeah, all the rest of the buildings down here for the most part. Yeah, I mean, it's a small little building. It has a total of three rooms in it. The main room is the waiting area, reception area, and then you have an office to the right, and you have like your personal little interview room, I guess, to the left. No, there was four rooms, and there was one interview. Uh, oh, there was, there one was office in the back. back. That's the back. right. Yep. But it's a very simple building, and I, I was just kind of, I, don't know, I guess, bemused by the size of it because hey. there's a lot of people who do come to Progresso rather than go to Merida or some other place to, to get their residency things done. It was a lot more efficient than Carretero was. I mean, That's true. now granted, they did not have the number of people working, and they did not have the number of people who were in there to have something done. So, you know, that being said, that two hours versus six on a padded chair versus tubular steel benches <laughs> for a bony butt yeah yeah you know and, and it was a lot more of a relaxed they were relaxed that's it yeah. you know i mean it, I, I am sure that if i went you know what i'm gonna walk across over here to the, the six and get a uh babita they'd have been fine you know you got into Carretero, you were there that's true. You weren't allowed to leave. You were in. You were staying in until your you whatever you were doing was finished. So it's just the way the offices are run. So so as much as we say Progresso is this sleepy little beach town, it really is still very geared toward tourism, mm -hmm. which I expect mm -hmm. because I mean even if the cruise ships aren't coming in, locals are coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of gift shops along and, the Malacone. And the proximity to Merida. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's literally, if you're on the north side of Merida, 20 minutes and you're here. So You know, they have a lot of really cute photo ops right along the Malacone, everywhere. I mean, there's like the big progressive letters, and then there's like this one I haven't had a chance to take advantage of yet. It's like a big picture mm -hmm. frame. It says progresso yeah. on it, and there's a couple of smaller ones that are on some of the the Passovers to get from the Malacan to the beach. Yes, so, yes. You know, and it's cute. Yeah. So, hey there. Um, I was wondering, what do you think about the Gresso? How about you? Are you having a good time in Progresso? And you've got 
you know, the Palapa area over mm -hmm. there where people are doing massages mm -hmm. and, you know, it's, and you got also the small Palapa areas where the restaurants like, uh, where we ate, you, we could eat on the beach. So, yeah. um, and the beach is pretty clean. Mm -hmm. it re there is some seaweed, but it's not bad seaweed and it's not a lot no. of it. So it is pretty clean. I don't notice a lot of trash. No. Nope. Um, now there is trash in the streets. It's just as bad here as it was in parts of Merida. Mm -hmm. In some places, even a little worse. <laughs> you know, I, but but the main tourist area is very clean. very clean. So yeah, um, we got some barking dogs. No biggie. A rooster. <laughs> Do we um, have a rooster? Oh yeah. I missed the rooster. Yeah, he was he was letting everybody know the sun up was up this morning. So nice. We have the cute little, um, I, want, I think it's a gas truck that drives by and does mm -hmm. the cute little jingle. Same one that we heard in San Miguel. Yes, Diana. I haven't heard that jingle since San Miguel. And it's like, I don't know what they're saying, but. The, the people who take care of the pool here threw us a curve because we ordered from Amazon and Amazon said they delivered and we're like, no, you didn't. There ain't nothing here. No, you didn't. And as it turns out, the pool people who we were told were going to be here on Friday actually showed up on Thursday and they happened to be here when Amazon was delivering and they went, oh, we'll take it. And yeah. Yeah, I'm curious why they didn't just leave it in here. Because they couldn't get in because we had locked it. We were gone to Merida. How did they get to the pool? They did that on Thursday, two, or Friday, two different days. Ah. They were out, the, the pool people were stuck outside ringing the bell because oh. we weren't here because we had done a run to Merida. Okay. And then when we, you know, they right. looked in and they realized, oh, the car is not here. And so they came back on Friday right. and they brought our package with them. But it had us really confused as to what was going on because we're going, if you delivered it, uh, you better ship another one because we don't have it. And Well, you know. all's well that ends well. Yes. At the time we record this, we have been here approximately a week and it is Dia de los Muertos time. So I'm very tempted to look for the Progreso Cemetery. I think I saw it on a map. I think I might want to ride over there and take a look. Just to see. No clue. I saw it. It's on a map. I'll find it. You know, I like those cemeteries. Scene one? Yeah. But... Oh, oh, you say that until we hit the one in Merida and then you were like, whoa. Well, I, I mean... <laughs> It was different. Uh, uh, yeah, it was the first one we'd been in in Mexico. So, you know. Yep. Well, that's, that's pretty about much it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say I, I like Progresso. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about whether this be a place we stay just yet. To be fair, we're not that far from Merida. No. So, I mean, if we needed a big hospital, an international airport, it's a quick run right down. It, it's at least 35 to 45 minutes. But it's a straight shot, mm -hmm. so it's not like it's that far away. We, we were under the impression that we would probably be a little cooler here than what we were in Merida. Oh. That's not really the case. That's uh, true. It's five degrees hotter here. Yeah. Um, yep. Now, it could be, I mean, it, again, that could be one week versus another week, so, but. Yeah, it, but, you know, but it's hot. It's warm. It's been hot, mm -hmm. and uh, it feels good when the wind blows but it feels good when the wind blows and you're in a shade. As soon as you step out of the shade, it gets hot. Yeah, you, you walk down the Malacca in the afternoon, it, it's, you know, if the sun's out, it's warm, so. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's a good wrap up for our first initial impressions. I would say overall they're positive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, we are Gringos Are Us. Expats with a plan. Remember, we're, we're doing, doing it. it. You, you can, can too. too.
And here's some other videos. I think they're supposed to be up here. Yeah, I keep looking. I never see them. But so we appreciate you viewing. Adios. Hasta la próxima.